G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 17th episode in the third and final season for the FIFA 17 Chelsea Career Mode Series. Today's episode has three incredible games, three important games. The first one, Man City in the FA Cup round of 16. Then we have the EFL Cup final against Leicester City at Wembley Stadium and we will conclude the episode with a trip to White Hart Lane taking on Tottenham in the Premier League. So much on the line here. Can we qualify for the quarterfinals? Can we win the EFL Cup and can we freaking boost our lead at the top of the Premier League table. But if you do go on to enjoy today's episode, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. If you are new around here, we are posting career mode content on the daily. But fellas, before we can get into today's episode, we have to answer your press conference questions. So let's do that now. So as per normal fellas, if you want to have a chance of getting your question answered in the next episode, don't forget to leave that question down below. Mood Nizam says, which is the team, which team is the toughest team you have faced in the entire series so far? You know, there's two teams that immediately spring to mind. First, I would say Barcelona, the Barcelona team that knocked us out of the Champions League in the semi-finals last season, but the most difficult team that we have consistently faced would be Manchester United. They beat us in the FA Cup final in season one. They have beaten us numerous times in the Premier League. We've had some absolute classics against them. And Jose Mourinho has really built a decent side. They may not be going amazingly overall in the series, but every time we face them, they really give us a good run for our money. Big boy Brandon Mug Vlogs says, Eden Hazard is dissatisfied with the club. He feels he should play for a greater club. What are your opinions on this? You know, in all honesty, full transparency here, I have not been impressed with Hazard's performances this season. You may notice that I am playing players like Musonda and Pedro over Hazard a lot this season. It's been because Hazard has just been out of position so much. He's been very, very ineffective every time he gets the ball. He's been decent for us in the first two seasons, but he has dropped off the pace this season. Hopefully, he can pick it up for the third, uh, for the second half of this season, I should say. But we'll have to wait and see. In regards to him moving clubs, he missed his opportunity in January. If he wanted to leave that badly, he should have come and told me, but he's going to have to stay Stick it out this season and see how he performs. The Soccer Beast number 8 says, With Bale's injuries for so long, do you regret signing him over Mares? You know, it's impossible to really predict if a player is going to get injured. That is just pure bad luck. That Gareth Bale did break his ankle and is out for three months. It might have happened to Mares. Heck, for all we know, Mares might have got out there on debut and torn a meniscus or something and had the whole season out. You just can't predict these things, so I don't regret signing Bale. I'm just disappointed that it's turned out the way it has. But that being said, when he gets back, we should be on the back end of the series, so he hopefully can contribute in the last few episodes. And the final question in today's press conference comes from Basilis Top. I've seen this question asked a lot, but he says, Bale is disappointed because you didn't give him the number 11, and Pedro, former Barcelona man, still has the number 11 on his back. What are your thoughts on this? You might have noticed an occurring theme in this series. I feel like players have to earn things like that. Bale has to earn that number 11. Pedro has had it for the whole series. Pedro has continued to perform as an impact substitute. Bale has to perform even higher than Pedro and knock him off his mantle to get that number. Bale hasn't earned the respect enough at Chelsea yet to get the number 11. And if he wants it, he has to prove it. So thank you guys once again for your press conference questions. That will conclude today's press conference. But right now, let's get into the gameplay. A matchup against Manchester City at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup. Let's do it. So at the end of yesterday's episode, I did show you the FA Cup results, the FA Cup fixtures, and I showed you that we have Manchester City in the FA Cup round of 16, probably the hardest opponent we could have got out of all the teams left. We could have had a lot of championship sides. I think there might be one or two League One sides. In fact, we'll get to look now. So 
Preston North End, Colchester, Fulham, Aston Villa. I would have rathered all these sides over Manchester City. But you know what? It is a bit of a challenge. If we beat Manchester City in the round of 16, my confidence level for the rest of this tournament goes up a lot. If we get knocked out, it sucks. But... Manchester City, we knock them out nice and early and we have a little bit easier of a run to the finals potentially. But anyways, here is our side. I'm rocking quite a strong side. I want to get the victory. That's it. However, here is Pep Guardiola's side and I'm interested to see whether Aguero and David Luiz go at it again like in real life on the weekend. But Joe Hart in goals, yeah, Kyle Walker, Nathan Ake, Ilkay Gundogan, Sterling, they've got a stacked Team Man City. Man City continue to attack. Ake going in there. They go for the bicycle. Aguero, mate. Here we go. We're passing it around. Sisto goes through to Antoine Griezmann. I see Immobile. We're going to square it in. Immobile! What a miss! That was the perfect opportunity to take the lead. And Immobile pulls it wide from virtually point blank range. Musonda, quick throw in there to Immobile. He's going to go back to Musonda. We need someone in the center. He hits it. Sisto oh, overhits everybody. That's not a good cross at all. And easy to now they're on the bloody counter. Sterling. Oriez trying to get back. He will get back. City. Sterling just beats him anyways. They go to Aguero. Chips it in there. They get the header off the post. Thank the Lord for that. So we get a free kick here early in the second half. I want to be able to see where I'm hitting the free kick. But I'm going to just hope this goes in the box. It does. We get the head up, but we put it wide. No, it's a corner. Did pretty well to get a corner out of it, considering I couldn't even see it. But we're going to put that one in there. Get your headed to it. Immobile. Oh, it almost freaking deflected in off silver. They're on the attacking Man City. Good stuff from David Luiz and Serge Aurier. That's not a good pass out, but it works out anyways. Here we go. Nine goal and what a ball. Immobile's onside. Come on, let's square it to freaking Griezmann. No, we're going to have to go with Immobile. It's tackled. Immobile gets the follow-up. And we are so lucky. Chiro Immobile gives us the lead here in the 77th minute against Manchester City in the FA Cup. We are so lucky. I thought I stuffed that up big time when I, I was trying to square it to Griezmann. And he never got in the right position. But we are so fortunate that it just popped up, it just flicked up for Immobile and he was able to head it in. Let's see if we can defend this lead now and qualify for the quarterfinals. They're on the attack in Manchester City, good stuff from David Luiz, I've moved him into CDM but it goes through to David Silva, they go, they shoot and they put it wide, Ake, oh my god. <laughs> he got subbed off as soon as he missed it. Guardiola is ruthless. Oh, it goes to Otamendi. They must be on all-out attack here. Walker puts it over. Man City have clearly gone into all-out attack mode. Their players are all up there. Our defenders are turning to mush them through. What a block from America Laporte. They've got the corner here, Man City. Joe Hart is up in stoppage time. One more stop and we should be sweet. It goes there to Sterling. Saved by De Gea. Almost goes over the line. Let's just belt that one upfield. See if we can get it to go in the goals. Oh, it's touched by Gundawan. Make the tackle. Full time. It does not matter. We are qualifying for the FA Cup quarterfinals. A 1-0 victory against Manchester City. And once again, we get up against Man City. We beat them like 3-0 or something a few episodes ago. And this time, we have kicked them out of the FA Cup. What a big result. So after qualifying for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, we get an insignificant £114,000. So we will have our first training session for today's episode, hoping to get these players up. Solanke, Musonda, Chalaba and Marcus Jackson all being trained here. Jackson has a good opportunity, it seems, to go up to a 73. Does he? No, he doesn't. He only goes up in a few stats. Solanke as well, almost at a 77. What a huge game this is, lads. The EFL Cup Final. We are back at Wembley, taking on Leicester City. Claudio Ranieri's men, they're looking to get the EFL Cup. They did defeat Man, Man United on penalties. We defeated Gillingham 3-0 overall. We are looking to lift the trophy and get closer to the treble. Yes, I'm being a savage. I am playing Jamie Vardy against Leicester. He's probably the third string striker in his left-hand side position. 
but I want him to score the winner against the Foxes. So here is our starting 11 for this game. Pretty strong side, but a few rotational players. We've got a game against Spurs in two days after this, so I've had to rotate a little bit, but it is still quite a strong side. And then here is Claudio Ranieri's men. So Kasper Schmeichel in goals, you got Chiriches. Uh, Manalas, Semedo, Musa, Marcus Rashford. They've got a decent side. Danny Drinkwater, Marte, Rashford going to Musa. Ahmed Musa running straight through, going there, passing it around. They shoot, and that is a clutch save from De Gea. Not going to lie, Leicester have been the better side so far. They've held on to possession quite nicely. Musa shoots. Another good save from David De Gea. Come on, lads. Let's not let Leicester score. We don't want to be on the back foot here. They go to the back post. Headed away from Kristen Simba to go straight out to Kapusta. Oh, he gets past the challenge of Dybala. Going to Amadi. They shoot, and it's saved again from De Gea. Intercepted from Benucci. It's just been a game of us intercepting it at the back line, then turning it over in the midfield. But now Vardy's on his bike. He's going to tap that one through to Eden Hazard. Hazard cutting around. Go on, Hazard. He's just going to have it himself. Eden Hazard saved from Schmeichel. They put it back. Goes back to William. Come on, lads. I see nine Golan. He's got a decent long shot in him. Rajinine Golan hits it. Blocked. But Cruz. It's blocked, Dybala deflected, oh, corner. Come on, can we get a goal just before halftime off the corner? Tony Cruz in there, Benucci saved from Schmeichel. Ahmed Musa, ah, he goes through to Marcus Rashford, who's one-on-one, -on -one and he puts it over. We are so fortunate there. Free kick here for Leicester. Not going to lie, they've probably been the better side in this EFL Cup final. It goes out there to James, passing that one to Manalas, the centre-back, straight at De Gea. Leicester with a very dangerous free kick here. 68th minute, 25 yards out. They're going to jump over it. They're going to hit it. Oh, and Rashford just puts it over. Leicester right now look the more likely to score as we are in the final minutes of this game. Musa going to Rashford. They shoot another clutch save from De Gea. He has been by far our best player. Leicester continue to attack. Final stages of this regulation time and they score it. Marcus Rashford scores the goal. That is a banger. Leicester do deserve this result. They do deserve to win the EFL Cup. I am so disappointed by how we have performed. We've held on for so long and then they go and score that. That is a dead set banger from the former United man. De Gea has saved us in this game. But there is not much he could do about that one. That one is his world class finish. Look on this replay. That is going, oh, that is just ridiculous. Far out. Don't call it full time. We might have one last opportunity here to get into stoppage time. Pedro running with it, going to James Rodriguez. Goes there, oh, that is a shocker of a pass. That sums up our game, and we have lost another trophy. We always seem to lose these domestic titles. Leicester City defeat us in the final. The treble dreams are still alive, but we have to win every other tournament now. I'm not going to lie, Leicester deserved that win. They killed us. Absolutely killed us. We didn't turn up. That's, I'm um, disappointed. Bloody hell. Congrats, Leicester. No Vardy, no Riyad Mahrez. Not too many of the players that actually won the Premier League with them, but they have still managed to absolutely dominate us. Leicester City win the EFL Cup. Ah, oh, god damn, lads. I wish that was us. And to conclude today's episode, it doesn't get any easier. Travelling to White Hart Lane, taking on Tottenham, we need to be better than we were last time out against Leicester. That was an atroci atrocious performance. Nobody turned up, nobody played with their heart on their sleeve. We need to show some character today. Spurs sitting in sixth, but look how tight the table is. We're in second on 48 points, I believe it said. So here is Mauricio Pochentino's side. Rui Patricio in between the sticks. Jan Vertonghen, Danny Rose, Victor Wanyama, Ross Barkley. Who do they have on the bench? Emre Chan, Divock Origi, Musa Dembele, Diouf. They've got a Premier League All-Stars team, to be honest. 
or maybe not an All-Stars team, a cheap 20k team on foot. And here is our starting 11 for the game. A decent side had to rotate once again. This was two days after the EFL Cup game, so uh, none of the players in this game besides De Gea played in the final, so I'm hoping that proves to be a difference maker in this game. Good stuff, Sisto. Nice back heel from freaking Aurier. Musonda through to Aurier. Serge cutting around. Going to Michi. Michi Batuay outside the box for Ness. And he forces a good save out of Patricio. We have been all over Spurs to start off this game. Can we get a reward for it here? It goes in. David Louise. Is that a corner? No, it's a goal kick. Vincent Janssen on the attack here for Spurs. Takes the long shot. Almost caught De Gea out there. They're on the attack here, Tottenham. Victor Wanyama going to Vincent Janssen. They rip the one in there. They get the header off the post. Clear it. Oh, my God. Pione Sisto running straight through. He's going to thread that one through there. Get there, Michi. He gets the touch to it. Oh, so unlucky. Get it away. Ah, oh, Danny Rose now going to Janssen. They go through. They shoot. And Danilio just misses. Good stuff from Griezmann. He goes there. Oh. Now they're through Tottenham. I had to rush up. I have to rush up. We can't let Ross Barkley shoot. They go to Janssen. Who he shoots. And De Gea makes the save. Here we go. Aurier. Passing that one to Griezmann. Griezmann, he's running down the line. Needs a support option. Danny Rose hot on his trail. Can we steal it late in the game? He gets straight past them. Somebody, where is somebody? He whips it back post. What the hell was that? Falls nicely to Michi here. Can we steal it? I've got substitutes ready to come on. But fucking oh, Griezmann. Ah, oh, our passing play has been atrocious. It's gone downhill this episode. A nil all draw. What a frustrating game. That Leicester game and this game have just been pains in the backside. The Man City game was sweet. That was fun. This game, a pain. Matches like that are just no fun to play, lads. Frustrating way to end the episode, but... Overall, it was alright. We qualified for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, so I guess that is a bonus. As you can see, we have Stoke and Real Madrid next episode. I feel like we're not going to play the Sheffield game because we will get the draws for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, but if not, looks like we'll be playing Sheffield. If you enjoyed today's episode of the Chelsea Career Mode, however, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. We are posting Career Mode content on the daily. And also make sure that you check out my social media links, fellas. My Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. All three of those linked down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.